appointment for Grandma's return home. Look, Minna, this is going to be the most exciting party since the inauguration. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm celebrating too, but not quite as flamboyantly. I'm trying to make Grandma's favorite dessert, peach cobbler. It looked so easy when she made it. A peach cobbler? Can you make me a little fuzzy pair of shoes, Min? Ah. <laughs> I know, that one was the pits, huh? <laughs> <laughs> forward to her visit. I've got my bedroom all clean and ready for her. Oh, men, don't worry about that. I've turned my armoire into hospitality suite. If she can, if she can stand living with my moth collection. Come on down, let me show you, please. Don't worry about that. Come on down here, sweetheart. Let's fly. Fly like the wind. Fly like the wind. Please, let me show you what I've got ready for her now. First of all, I have her new trapeze to sleep on. <laughs> and to make her feel really at home, her favorite pin-up boy. Thank you, Judy and Sissy. <laughs> for that lovely Iguana dance of love. <laughs> oh, Mark, that's really sweet, but somehow I think Grandma would prefer to sleep horizontally. Why? I mean, you said she joined a swinging seniors club. <laughs> but it's not that kind of swinging. See, it's a, a group of active older people who believe that life doesn't have to be dull after 60. Oh, unless you watch Tom Snyder. <laughs> Look who's here. Back off. <laughs> well, hi, Mark. How's my favorite spaceman? Oh, wonderful, Grandpa. <laughs> da -da 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 oh, marvelissimo. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, this is really a royal welcome. Well, a banner, a red carpet, and... Peach cobbler? Yeah, the kind that Grandma used to make, I hope. <laughs> can you stay forever, Grams? Can you, maybe? Can you stay forever, please? Oh, that's sweet of you, Mark, but no, I can only stay three days, and then I'm going on to Vegas. My group is having a convention. Yes, and it's her turn to pop out of the cake. Oh, uh, <laughs> I only do that for the Shriners. <laughs> well, come on over here and tell us all about how you like living in Boston. Well... Boston is really the best. Here, you got a little something on your face. Oh. There. But living with my little sister, Mildred, is never easy. Well, you know how it is when they're that age. They think they have all the answers. Well, I suppose I was the same way when I was 70. <laughs> but enough about me. Now, tell me. What's the poop around here? Oh, let's scoop. Oh, we got this till dawn. First of all, uh, Mindy got a job, I got a job, Carter lost a job. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why peanut butter was getting so expensive. <laughs> and uh, Brooke Shields turned 40 on her 15th birthday. Uh, coleslaw's hard to reheat, and also, uh, they put Walter Cronkite out to stud. Watch out, Grandma. <laughs> Well, you did ask what was new. <laughs> oh, Grandma, we've planned a special luncheon for you tomorrow. We've got a lot of new friends in town, and we've told them all about you. Not all, dear. The best hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear, I do want to meet all your friends, yes, but say, I'd better get out and bring in the rest of my things. Oh, can I carry your barbells? <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear, if you're sure they're not too heavy for you. <laughs> You know, honey, your grandmother has been so sweet to me, not one insult all day. Huh. I guess absence does make the heart grow fonder. Well, Fred Zoe, are you going to give us a hand, or are you just going to stand there like a wiener? <laughs> I said, take your hand off my knee, Buster, or you'll land a half hour before the plane dies. <laughs> oh, Mindy, she's such a treat. Oh, no. <laughs> Where do you get your spunk? Oh, I go to a clinic for spunk shops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corey, you remind me of my grandmother. Yeah, yeah. except you don't have a mustache. Oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, that's not nice. Would be if she'd wax it. Oh, <laughs> Cute the way your little cheeks shake. <laughs> Mindy tells me that you're off to Las Vegas for a convention of swinging seniors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think uh -huh. I've ever heard of them. Well, we travel a lot to promote the rights of the retired. It's something like the Grey Panthers, only we have leather shawls. <laughs> <laughs> Our slogan is Bert Parks lives. <laughs> Hey, I feel just like one of the girls. <laughs> Excuse me. Gee, Carl, you know, that sounds like a really fascinating group. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, that'd make a great subject for a story. Yeah. What? Grandma, would you do an interview with me down at the TV station? Me? On television? Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, really, oh. I think there'd be a lot of people out there who'd love to hear about you and your group. Oh, Mindy, nobody's going to be interested in me. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll have to get a new hat. Uh <laughs> Oh. I looked for every nook and cranny and I couldn't find Granny. Oh. <laughs> I just don't understand it. I mean, she was just going to go out and buy a new hat and then come straight back here and get ready for the interview. Oh. Hey, watch out now. Take time away. <laughs> what are you doing? Listening for a thundering beat of sensible shoes. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather just go look for her myself. Oh, let me go with you, Min. <gasps> Grandma, are you all right? Oh, I, I, I guess so, but I never was so frightened in all my life. Oh, here, sit down. Look at my new hat. Oh, what mm. happened? Oh, children, it, it was dreadful. Well, I was just walking through the park on my way home, and I... and I... I was mugged. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Don't worry, Graham. You're home now. <laughs> Ma'am, we'll do our best, but don't get your hopes up. We can't be everywhere at once. You know, there are so many of them, and too few of us. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Is that what they call a cop-out, Min? You know, that really ticks me off. Three guys, mug grandma in broad daylight, and the police can't even do anything about it. Yeah. Mindy, I hope you won't mind, dear, but I don't feel up to doing that interview tonight. Oh, I understand, Grandma. Yeah. Listen, can Gee. I get you anything? How about a nice cup of tea? No, no, thank you, dear. Well, how about some Jello with corn? No. <laughs> No, dear, I think I'll just uh, go and lie down for a while. It, it just hasn't been my day. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Yeah. Oh, oh if you don't like that one, how about some tapioca with peas? Oh, <laughs> oh thank you, but no. Oh. What's wrong with Graham's men? It's almost like they let the air out of her life. Oh, Mork, mugging's a terrible thing. Oh, it's too bad it's not like on Ork. Their mugging is when someone follows you and goes, you missed it. You get roughed up and robbed, and it's really scary. Wow. Why would they want to do something like that to Granny, though? Well, it's much easier to pick on the elderly, Mark. They're less likely to put up much of a resistance. Now, you know, Mind, this is the only planet in the universe that has no respect for its elders. It's not much to be proud of, is it? No. Well, I gotta go to work. Well, I sure hate to leave Grandma after she's been through all this. Oh, don't worry, Mind. I'll take care of her. Oh, well, thanks. I'll make sure she's well protected. I've also realized one thing, Mind. Granny's a member of an endangered species. Oh. You know, they're going to expect me to fill the time with an interview at the station. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I'll fill it with an editorial. Yeah, and I think I have a real strong topic. Good luck. is still asleep, thank goodness. What kind of planet are you running here, Pops? I mean, if this happened back on Ork, we'd have those thugs recycled into bedpans. <laughs> Look, here's Mindy's spot. Following is an editorial and does not necessarily reflect the opinions of KTNS television or its management. Oh, boy, wasn't she great? Good evening, everyone. This is Mindy McConnell. And tonight I had planned to interview one of Boulder's outstanding senior citizens. However, she's unable to be here tonight because of a senseless, unprovoked crime. She was mugged. This incident occurred in broad daylight in a park where she has felt safe for over 50 years. Crimes against the elderly increase every year in this country. What is the value of a longer life expectancy if we're forced to spend it behind locked doors? Well, today my grandmother was a victim. 
Tomorrow it could be you or yours. I don't have any answers, but something has to be done about it now. We must get involved, and we have to do it now. Thank you very much. What a girl. Boy, that should get some action. Oh, you're not kidding, Pops. Oh, no, you're not kidding there, you sirree bobcat. Boy, you're... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Grand, but Mindy just goosed my civic consciousness. <laughs> she was just on TV, Cora. Mindy gave an inspiring editorial on protection for the elderly. Oh, bless her heart. But I don't know how much good it'll do. It just is not safe outside. I'm scared. I'm going back to Boston. Oh, but what about your swinging seniors? Well, they'll just have to swing without me. I think I'd feel a lot better under my own roof. Now, I know you both care, but... but I just want to go home. Well, if that's what you want, Cora, but I wish you'd think it over. Yeah. Look, I, uh... I'm afraid I have to get to the concert. Okay. Excuse me, Vance. Mm. Pop, is there anything we can do? I don't think so, Mork. She's afraid and she doesn't feel safe. Maybe a monthly check isn't the kind of social security she really needs. You know, the money those muggers took can be replaced, but the thing that really burns me up is they stole her spirit. And how do you get that back? Hey, Gran. Now, come on. You can't leave. That'd be like giving up. And if you do that, I mean, you'll be afraid to go anywhere. Well, what... What can I do about it, Mark? You heard what that policeman said. Mm. Oh, I wish those punks could be in my shoes, and then they'd know how I felt. Uh, wait a minute. Time out. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Raindrops falling on the fertile fields of fair play. <laughs> Mark, what are, you, what are you talking about? Oh, Grandma, I think I have a foolproof plan. I just, I just hope I'm fool enough to pull it off. <laughs> Now, don't let your mind wander, dear. Don't let it, don't let it check out with the baggage again. <laughs> now, if we're gonna catch these rats, we're gonna have to spread out the Velveeta. Come on now, dear. <laughs> and try and act like an old lady. Hello. Well, I'll try, but I must admit, I am a little nervous. Oh. Honey. In fact, I'm scared to death. Oh, don't you worry, dear. Here, have one of these. Have a little prune daiquiri. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Clara. Oh, dear. Are you sure you can handle these muggers? No, dear. You're going to handle them just like we planned. Now, come along, honey. Come along. I remember what my first husband, Robert, said to me before he died. He said, hun, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my son, the doctor. <laughs> he never writes me anymore. He just sends money. <laughs> Look, uh, you look tired, dear. Shall we sit a spell? Oh, honey, let's do that. Let's just sit, sit right down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, this bag is so heavy. Too bad I cashed all my tea bills today. <laughs> Shoot, it's a shame to carry around this much money. You know, we're talking mega bucks here. I mean, I'm enough to feel oh, like. Mark, I think I see somebody coming. I'm so scared. Oh, don't be pale. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, it's a minute, Mucker. Hold on to your bubble gum. <laughs> don't you ladies know you should?
should be out this late. Oh. Well, uh, thank you for your concern, dear, but we're quite all right. It's dangerous here. I'd feel better if you let me walk you home. Now, young man, don't you worry about a thing, because my friend here has brass knuckles, and I have an inflatable Doberman in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, take a hike. <laughs> well, all right, but you be careful. Oh, we will. I guess I'll have to get my merit badge in Girl Scout watching. <laughs> Dear, this doesn't seem to be working out, Mort. Maybe we'd better leave. No, no, Cora, Cora, Cora. <laughs> we came here to get mugged, and we're not leaving till we do. Yeah, oh, oh, no. It's the road company from Deliverance. <laughs> about here. They really are. Clara, dear, they are the muggers. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the park. Hold on, Granny. Give me that purse. No, no. I trust me. It doesn't go with your shoes. <laughs> hey, isn't this the old lady from this afternoon? Sick of the wagon. What's the matter, you old frump? Didn't you get enough? Don't you worry, Grams. No worry about a thing. Give me the bag, you old bag. Oh, all right. I have a little awkward surprise for you in here. What's wrong with me? I feel like I'm a hundred years old. Me too. What? They sound so old. Well, they are, Clara. You see, I put them in an orphan age warp, and that way, on the outside, they're young, but on the inside, they're celebrating the bicentennial. Oh. <laughs> Grab them, you guys! Oh, we're gonna sit down. Well, you just take a little nap, and we'll wake you up when the Republicans revoke your pension. <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 don't you dare! Don't you... Granny. Oh, no, please, not that. My husband gave me that. Oh, now, come on, Granny. You don't, you don't have to give him anything. Remember, they're in your shoes now. Uh, now, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yes. I said, let's have the watch. <laughs> Stick it in your nose and blow it out your ear. <laughs> Ma'am, I didn't know you knew karate. Well, I don't, but I love Bruce Lee movies. Oh, enter the granny. <laughs> well, I don't know what you've done to us, but you're going to pay for it. All right, here's a down payment. <laughs> Pick on helpless people, will you? <laughs> Somebody grab her purse and then carry me to the car. <laughs> They want your purse. Why don't you just give it to them, dear? Well, you're absolutely right, Clara. How rude of me. No, 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 honey. Take mine. It's industrial strength. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These men mugged me this afternoon. They did? Yeah. Well, it looks like they picked on the wrong lady. All right, straighten up. Uh, sure, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> you really roughed them up. Oh, we did it in a ladylike fashion. <laughs> well, you ladies will have to file a report later. You got it, blue eyes. <laughs> Young man, you deserve a very special merit badge. Who needs merit badge? For this, I'll make the cover of Boy's Life. <laughs> well, Clara. Well, Cora. Shall we head on home? Well, honey, let's just take a hike ourselves. Oh, yeah. You know, it's what a day this has been. Oh, oh, I better get this girdle back to Minnie. It's starting to ride up a little. <laughs> Everybody, let's get going, Cora. We gotta get to the airport, or you're gonna miss that shuttle to Las Vegas. Oh, hold your water, Fredzo. <laughs> Fredzo, I'm gonna miss that. Oh, I'm so glad to have my wallet back again. You know, they didn't even wrinkle that picture of Willie Nelson. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Graham. Next time, you're just gonna have to stay longer. Three days is not long enough. No, <laughs> well, I promise, dear. Good. Come on, Mark, we're ready to go. <laughs> what are you doing in that outfit? Well, it's not the same outfit, men. It's, it's a bolder print. <laughs> Stunning. Oh, you're just jealous because you don't have legs like that. <laughs> Mark, enough is enough. Well, I know, Mindy, I know. I should have worn the pink because it would have gone better with the blue hair. <laughs> oh, Mindy, don't be hard on Mark. After all, if it hadn't been for his dressing up to look like me, I'd still be in a blue funk. We owe him a lot. Well, I guess you're right. We do owe you a lot, Mark. Hi, After man. all, you did help Grandma get her spirit back. But, Clara, dear, will you please change the dress for me? <laughs> All of you, I, I just want you to know that I have, I have a date with a very wonderful gentleman caller this evening. You do? Yeah. Oh, come in, darling. Oh, oh, shh, shh, don't spoil it, don't spoil it. <laughs> Yes, darling. Now, we're going to be crossing a very, very wide street, so don't wait up. <laughs> Why don't you tell me more about your grandfather? <laughs> more calling Orson. Come in, Orson. More calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Oh, don't fear me now. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mark calling Austin. Come in, my main member. <laughs> Mark, now what's gotten into you? Oh, spirit's got a hold of me, sir. Gonna make me dance. Oh, yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. Come on, Beebs, you'd be a better dancer. I know if you had feet, but let's go give it to you. <laughs> You've been warned about Earth spirits. Are you possessed again? Oh, no, sir. I'm just dancing to the beat of life. See, this week I learned, sir, that without the right spirit, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. How do you get the right spirit, Mork? Well, most Earthlings are born with it, sir, but the hard part is to keep it. How do people lose it? Well, in this case, sir, old people are sometimes ignored, well, they're pushed aside, and worst of all, sir, they're targets of abuse. They don't really lose it as much as it's stolen from them. That's criminal. I know, sir. It's my theory, sir, that, that old people have made a major contribution to society, and they deserve a better return than just half price at the movies. If we really want to make their years golden, I think we should pay them with our gratitude and respect. Until next week, sir. Nanu, nanu.